हाई एवरी वन दिस इज बिलाल खान एंड यू आर वॉचिंग सिंप्लीफाइड कोडिंग वेलकम बैक एवरी वन एंड आई होप सो फार यू फॉलोड द सीरीज सक्सेसफुली सो बिफोर मूविंग अहेड गिव मी अ शेयर प्लीज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिजाइन द प्रोफाइल फ्रैगमेंट एंड फ्रॉम दिस फ्रैगमेंट यूजर कैन सी द प्रोफाइल इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड यूजर कैन ऑल्सो अपडेट द एग्जिस्टिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ द प्रोफाइल एंड अगेन I will be doing some copy paste for the XML part as I don't want to waste time on explaining XML to you. But if you think I am doing something wrong here by not explaining XML, then please comment below and then I will create a separate course about user interface design in Android. But for now, let me do it very quickly with Control C and Control V. So first, we need to go inside our fragment profile XML file, and here I will do. a simple paste and we have the profile screen design ready now from this point we need to use firebase database because we want to list all the authenticated users so we need to store the user info in database as well and firebase storage for storing the profile pictures so our first task here is adding the database and storage dependencies and it is again very easy you just need to go to tools and then firebase our project is already connected with firebase project so we just need to add the dependencies so first we need real time database so click here and it is connected we just need to add real time database to our application so just accept the changes and it will do everything else the same way we will add storage so this is storage and we will add the storage into our project so database and storage are added in our project so after adding the dependencies we need to enable firebase storage from the firebase console and to do this you need to go to your firebase console project in my case it is firebase auth tutorial so i will open this and from here i will open storage so open storage and from here you need to click get started and click got it and it will create a default bucket in our firebase storage so now storage is ready to use and we can upload our files here so we are going to upload all the profile images for all the users here in our firebase storage so come back to our profile fragment and this is the layout that i copy pasted and don't worry you can get the source code from the link that is given in the description of this video so in my profile screen i have this image view you can see we have an image view and we have text view to display the name and we have a progress bar as well so when the user will tap on this image we will open the camera and from the camera user can take an image and we will upload that image to our firebase storage so this is the thing that we are going to do in this video basically so let's do it so come inside profile fragment again and here we need to override one more function which is override fun on view created and here i will attach a click listener to my image view so the id is image underscore view and then i will attach a click listener and when we will click on this image view i will call a function that is take picture intent so let's create this function private fun take picture intent now for the take picture intent i need a constant as well for the call back so what i will do is i will create a private val request image capture or you can name this variable anything and let's give the value 100 to this variable you can actually put any value this value is just to track the call back so we have the constant now inside this function take picture intent i will create an intent so i will create an intent so we have the intent the first parameter i will pass to this intent is media store 
dot action image capture that means I want to capture an image with the help of this intent so this intent will open the default camera application that is inside our device and then I will call also and here we will get the intent in it and actually we can rename this so let's name it as picture intent now here we need to write picture intent dot resolve activity and to this function we need to pass our package manager so here we can pass activity because we are inside a fragment dot package manager and we need to make sure it is not null so I will put this operator here and then again also we will call the function start activity for result and we will pass our intent which is picture intent but this function takes two parameters the first parameter is the picture intent and the next parameter is the request code and with the help of this request code we will identify the callback in the on activity result function so in the on activity result function we will identify with the help of this request code that this is for our take picture intent so here we will pass our constant that we just created it is request image capture so here we will write request image capture yeah fine now it will open the camera intent but to get the result back from the camera we need to override one more function which is override fun on activity result and here with the help of this request code we will identify the request that it is the request from this take picture intent so here we will write if request code is equals to equals to request image capture and we will also check that the user clicked a picture or not because when the camera app is opened there is also an option to cancel it so we need to make sure that the image was captured and to check this we can check if the result code is result ok if this is the case we will get the image from the intent which is our data on this function so let's get the image bitmap in this val so we will create a val named image bitmap or you can name it anything equals to data dot extras it is inside extras so we need to write data dot extras and then we need to call the function get and the key is data and we also need to cast it as bitmap now we have the bitmap after getting this bitmap we will call a function and I will name this function as upload image and save URI and I will pass the image bitmap now we will create this function so I will write private fun upload image and save URI it takes bitmap as a parameter so we can write here bitmap bitmap and our function is ready now to save the URI I will create a late init var in the top which is private late init var and it would be image URI of type URI and inside this URI we will store the URI of our profile picture that is uploaded into firebase storage now inside this function first we will create a val baos and it is our byte array output stream so we have our bows now we need to create a storage reference so we can simply create val storage ref and we will get the reference from firebase storage dot get instance dot reference and we will call the child function to get a child reference and it is actually the path where we want to upload our picture so I will upload all the pictures inside this folder pics with the name of the user ID so every user in firebase that is authenticated has a unique user ID so we can use that unique user ID to name the profile pictures so I will concatenate pics 
or instead of concatenating you can write here like this because it is Kotlin so we can write firebase auth dot get instance dot current user dot uid and we need to make here a null safety because the current user can be null so I will break this line like this so that you can see it yeah this is correct I think so we have our storage reference where we are going to put our bitmap which is this bitmap so let's do it to put this bitmap into our storage reference we need to get a byte array from this bitmap instance and to do this we need to call the compress function that is inside this bitmap instance so we will write bitmap dot compress and the first parameter is the format so here we will write bitmap dot compress format dot jpeg and we can use the jpeg compression then we can pass the quality of the compression 100 means the best quality 0 means the worst quality and you can choose your quality according to your need and then the last parameter is the byte array output stream so we already have our bows so we will pass it here now we will create a val image and we will get the byte array from this bows and to do this we can use the function bows dot to byte array and we have our byte array that we can put into the storage reference so let's do it now now we will create a val upload and we will call storage ref dot put bytes and we will pass our byte array that we have so this image is our byte array so we will pass it here now this is an upload operation that takes time so we need to attach a complete listener to this upload so we will write upload dot add on complete listener and we can write it like this now instead of it I will write a name here and I will write it as upload task now here we will check if upload task is successful that means we can get the download URL and to get the download URL or the image URL or you can say the image URI that we need to store in this object we can use the storage reference val so here we will write storage ref dot download url dot add on complete listener and here again i can rename this it with url task now here we will check url task dot result and if it is not null we will store this uri to our image uri object so here we will write image uri equals to it and we have the image url now we need to display the progress bar when the image is uploading so here we can write progress bar pick that is this progress bar so we will display it when the image is uploading so come here in profile fragment and we will write progress bar pick dot visibility equals to visible and it is actually view dot visible and when the task is completed we will make it invisible again that's it now in case of any error we can display the error message from the upload task dot exception dot message so we can write it like this and we can display a toast here so it will display a toast message in case of any error and I think everything is fine so for now I will just display the image URI to confirm that it is working so let's do it again I will put a toast
and once and once the upload is finished we will also set this bitmap to our image view so here we can write image view dot set image bitmap as our bitmap and everything is fine so let's try running this application to see if it is working or not so this is our application click here on the navigation drawer go to profile and click on this image you can see it opened the camera now i will click a picture and picture is ok and you can see we are seeing the progress bar and we have the image uri so it is working absolutely fine guys so that's all for this video friends i hope you are able to follow it successfully in case of any issues let me know by your comments and don't forget to like and share this video to your friends and yes the link to the source code is there in the video description in case you want to see my code so thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off